Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is a review on the NARS Man Ray palette. This is the Love Game palette, so it's the larger of the two palettes that were released in this collection. As far as I know, it's maybe not available in the US or if it is going to be available, it's not available yet. So when I was looking for reviews and swatches and stuff on this, particularly on YouTube, there wasn't that much out there. So I thought this would be a great palette for me to grab and give you my thoughts on and give you some swatches. If you've watched my last review on the NARS palette, you'll know that I have the NARS Narcissist palette and I really like it. So I was hoping that this palette would be of a similar quality and if you wanna find out if it is, then just keep on watching. All right, so let's start off with the packaging. <laughs> this is a quick segue away from NARS, but this is the uh, Mecca packaging at the moment, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how long they've had this packaging around, but if it's just the Christmas packaging or whatever, but it's really, really pretty. It has matching tissue paper, which is really nice. So if you didn't gather from that, I purchased this palette from Mecca in Australia. It retails for $80, which is about the same as the last NARS palette I bought, NARS Narcissus palette. Um, I think that's fairly standard. We are expensive. So the palette comes in this nice box here which just has the same design as what's actually on the palette. Okay so when you open it up there's the palette there. It's a sort of acrylic top and it does have like a gloss so it almost looks a little bit 3D on the picture there. It's a very cool picture and this palette unlike the other palette that I have opens this way like this and that is the palette there. Look at those colors aren't they just gorgeous? So this one's made in the USA at 0.5 Oz for the overall palette, which gives 1.5 grams per 12 shadows. Now the NARS Narcissus palette is a tiny bit smaller than that actually. It's 0.4 Oz and it has 1.4 grams per 12 shadows. This palette has four mattes and eight shimmers, although this one seems a little bit more like a satin than a shimmer for me. So all of your deep bright colors as shimmers and these two gorgeous shimmers here. This gold packs a real punch and it's a very, very nice pigmented shimmer shadow. There it is side by side with the Narcissus palette. So you can see that some of those light matte shades are vaguely similar, but that's about where it ends. My swatch game doesn't seem to be that strong, but I'm gonna do my best for you guys and I'm just gonna swatch all of the colors first and then we'll talk about the palette. So starting off with Lady Killer, which is the lightest shadow in the palette. And and it's a sort of skin colored matte. Then we go into Rendezvous, which is the next lightest shade. Then Dominant. Then Submissive, which is a lovely khaki green color. That one's also a matte. Then Your Move, which is a sort of mustard yellow matte. Then Hard to Get, which is a copper tone. Trist, which is one of my absolute favorite shades. Look at that just on the finger there. It's the beautiful gold shade. Then Dirty Talk, which is the more cool toned champagne shade. Then we have Love Game, which is a beautiful deep blue. Blind Date, which is the burgundy, but it feels the least smooth of all of the shadow formulas. And when swatching, it's the one that's most likely to be patchy, though it isn't actually patchy, but you know. Then we have Play Me, which is a deep bronze shade. Last but not least, we have the green forest sort of green shade, which is called Momentum. Hopefully you can see a little bit from those swatches. I know that they're not the best quality, but they're probably the best ones I've done so far, so you know. So when I was trying out the shadows, I wanted to put as many on my eyes as I could at the one time. But at the moment I'm wearing Momentum, Blind Date, Long Game, Dirty Talk, Trist, Your Move, Lady Killer, and Submissive. I think I, I managed to get eight out of 12 shadows on my eyes today. So, you know, I, I tried them all out. Basically, I'd say this shade down here, Blind Date, the burgundy one, is the one that performs the least impressively out of all of them. But they are all really nice. And as per usual, NARS style, or certainly all of the NARS ones that I've tried, the mattes are really nice. They've got a good amount of pigment payoff. They're soft, they're super blendable. They've got a really nice, Texture, I feel like um, the NARS mattes are really velvety. Some of those deeper shimmers are really nice, but they're not gonna give you a real powerful shine. The color isn't super vibrant. It translates more to a sort of deep version of all the colors. So you can see I have the blue on the outer here, the maroon in the middle, khaki in the crease, the green under my eye, gold in the middle, the lighter cool tone champagne as the inner corner. So if you like to do a smoky eye and you want to add a little bit of color to your smoky eye, then I think the dark jewel toned shades in this palette are really, really good for that. So you've got like the blue, the burgundy and the green that all could be used in a really nice smoky eye just to add 
a little pop of color that isn't like bright color. It's deep color. Mm -hmm. So I really like that. I also really like the khaki green shade in this palette. This shade here, it's beautiful. When I was doing this tutorial, and if you want to see how I did this look, then there's going to be a tutorial on it. Hold tight. <laughs> um, but when I started off building that khaki green color into the crease, it was beautiful. It was really nice and it went really well with my eye color as well. It sort of made them pop. And I think that if you paired that with a light color all over the lid, maybe this cool tone champagne shade here, I think that would look really, really pretty. So I really like that. And I also really like that mustard yellow, yellowy brown color. I know that the yellowy mustards are right in at the moment, so probably no news to some people out there, but that's a really nice color and a different color to play with. So I feel like that khaki green and that mustard yellow, they would work really well into your neutral look. So even though they are color, they could just bring that teeny bit of variation to your natural brownie neutral looks that you wanted to do. I think I really enjoy using both of those in that way as very wearable everyday colors. So yeah, I would enjoy using those deep jewel tones with smoky eye. I enjoy using the khaki and mustard yellow for everyday wearable neutral kind of look. And other than that, my absolute favorite shade <laughs> in this palette, if you couldn't already tell, is this gold here, just because it packs such a punch. And it's such a true gold, like a bright yellow gold, which I think is quite unique, especially to a pressed shadow. It actually almost feels like a pressed pigment and it is a teeny bit more chunky than the other shadows, but it goes on smoothly. It's just that you pick up quite a lot of the pigment because it's soft. And yeah, I just think it's such a gorgeous color. I can see myself using that, especially coming up to Christmas. I actually think this is a pretty good palette coming up to Christmas. It's got that really nice Christmassy green down the bottom there and that gorgeous gold. And you could sort of use this color in here as well so I definitely will do some Christmas looks with this palette and that's really all I can say about it I think it's another great palette from NARS I am aware that some people have said that NARS's palettes don't have great quality shadows in them they're not the same as the single shadows but I've only purchased these two NARS palettes the Narcissus one and this one and both of them to me have had outstanding formula they are really blendable they're smooth they're delightful the pigments really good all the colors are workable and in my opinion what I'm wearing on my eyes today putting all those dark colors right next to each other it's quite difficult to get that to come out not looking muddy but it was definitely possible with these shadows it did require a little bit of patience and a little bit of work uh, if you want <laughs> to put eight shadows on your eye and not have it look like a hot mess you are gonna have to be a little bit careful with the way that you do it but I'm really happy with this palette and I think that if you haven't collected one of these new release palettes that have been coming out with the jewel tones and the khaki greens and the mustards and that sort of thing and you do have like a hole in your collection for one of these then this is a good one to go for. I think it's user friendly, it's got some great colours in there. You could definitely do natural looks with it. As you can see by my face you can do unnatural looks with it. <laughs> You can do a nice deep bold smoky eye, you can play with those colors and that's really great. I'm really excited that for once we get something on time and we can be part of the wave of, you know, new products that just pretty much never happens to us Australians. So yeah, I'm really happy to have got my hands on this. I'm happy to be sharing it with you guys. Please comment down below, tell me what you think of it, tell me what looks you do with it or if you're going to buy it or anything, just interact with me, please. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.